Oh, we don't need the coordination then national. Bono, man, do it a good try.
DJ, are we ready? Permit me to wash them in.
And they ask you all, let us see with that set. Oh, to me, that parang you. I'm trying to get a lot of it. 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 Oh, my God. A way you can. A matter of any city. Oh, my God. A way you can. A matter of any city. Oh, my God. A way you can. A look at all we have. Look, look. We can see that. I have no one who will. I know it's hard to look at that. We can look at all we have.
Ladies and gentlemen, Uno Maria Hida, who here, who are the dog, and you will speak. They can be vacation where Ajea and a major hera, not volunteer, our keynote speaker, the person of Professor Bedford Mays. Please, a big. Can I talk about the here, please? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of uh, Mr. Sukun Nebo and the inauguration of Umotan Nebo, I welcome all of you. Uh, before I begin, I want to start with a little bit of introduction. In 2008, I was heading to Nigeria through France. At the airport, I asked a French guy, where is the restroom? He responded to me in French. I said, I don't understand what you said. And this is his response. It is unpatriotic to speak any other language other than French. I thought about it. I thought about it. It didn't end there. Last year, a rural community of Ethiopia, every year, that community we have uh, a sort of reward to their graduates, high school and the universities. They introduced me and started speaking. Guess what? An Ethiopian child born here was translated whatever I was saying in Ethiopian language. It didn't stop there. When I was in high school, I know some of you probably heard about a Ghanaian born around 1800, Dr. Akron, he said, a people that don't value their color is not worthy to live. If you go home now, talk to some of your rich friends who live in Lagos, who live in Meduguri, who live in Malaysia, Enugu, when they come to the village, their children, most of them, don't understand the language. Now I ask myself, what does that mean? What does that mean? It tells me that what it means is that our people generally do not understand the meaning of culture. A culture is the way people handle their things. But you cannot pass on your culture if you lose your language. What we have lost, yes, what we have lost is that we have lost our identity. We have lost our culture. And pay attention to this. All of us here write English language better than our own language. But what I guarantee you is that when you talk to me in Hebrew language, I understand you better than English language. What does that mean? It means that when a society doesn't value its number one language, it affects their development. Watch what is going on all over the world. If you come to the United States and join the U.S. Army, the first thing they're going to do is to make sure you understand and speak English language fluently so that when people communicate to you in the war front, there is nothing like what or if around it. Now, how do we resolve all this? What this good people is doing? Friends, stand up and be recognized. Give this man a round of applause. Give him a round of applause. Um, if you go to Virginia, they have what is called Igbo village. The Commonwealth of Virginia gave the Igbos in Virginia land where they built what France has started here. If you go to Boston, they have what France is started an Igbo school from K1 to K12. In fact, the headmaster happened to be my friend, Benjamin Adoba. So ladies and gentlemen, this Houston has the greatest number of evils and arguably Nigerians in the United States. 
So it is very, very important that we make sure that our children understand our language. Let me read this with you before I go. Last year, I went home. My village summoned the village meeting from young and old, including my mom, who never went to school up to today. While we are the meeting, I noticed that some of my friends who live in Lagos, they do the Elugu audition. They incorporate English with Igbo language. Now I'm sitting down, if I am going to make it. Where is the underbind? Because no one knows my needs now and they make our own English, no Igbo. Why you need to waste my mom? No other women are living there now. How are they living there? I will shout, but my mother, they do a kind of thing. This is not to have the energy that needs. Now, the point I'm making here is this: I have lived in this country for 33 years. Now, no, I'm a man so open to rock with the band. Now, more than that, if I enter the classroom, I speak English. Me, the end of my life, so many people. I see no reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. One more Nigerian, Oyibo, I can ask you. In case you guys don't know, I left uh, a quiz for all of you here. He says there are more than Oyibo. Oyibo proverbs and idioms. In case you don't know, the way we vocabulary. Biao, bia, no Oyibo. But the only Oyibo in dictionary. Oh, Igbo idioms and proverbs. All your mama is in Yoku. Now, I want to once again encourage every one of us, young and old, to become support for even this gentleman. Amen. Because it is extremely important if we want to maintain Igbo tradition, Igbo cultural gravitas, we must teach our children that it doesn't matter whatever they read. Where is it school then? Where is school then again? The guy that came here and uh, puts it in school, he shall be well with you. Give that guy a lot of applause. I was mesmerized when you were fluently. How many years? Three months. Three months. You might want to be in about a year. Congress and friends, ladies and gentlemen, but men I want your village to acquire Abraham Madden. They are also teaching Igbo here. And this guy has now established a academy worthy of emulation. It shall be well with you. Thank you very much. Let's support him tonight. Let us support him tonight. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Um, only shine a man, a man, a man, no only shine when I am not carrying a woman. It's a moment of microphone, one and no. Only shine is an ambulance with the red president, Nikki Club International, only the vice president, a Yimba. Chiefs are people 
Ay, kawan mo si Kiana po ilang magka. Kama ka, Father's instruction. O hanan sa inyo ma. A ugo, ay pala lang po ako. Yan yung sinisuro. Bukay ni Reprisa ka. Kaya ba ano yung mayroon mo ta? Puro nga kapulitik ba mo? O yung sinema ka mga kamwe iwe de fuoko we nefe awa chief lancha. Pikono. Na ako nga ka kamwe iwe nefe maasi kumano e uche. Pikono. Pupo nga ka kumu chilete. Pupo nga ka pukono. Di ba yung dehon? Siya ma. Ano po ng sabi? Siya. Ano po kaya? Pray. I want to thank everybody for showing up this evening. It's part of a heavy, heavy rain. I was on the road for four hours to make it here. And since uh, Prince arrived in Houston, I have been doing this work. I have tried to encourage him. So I am so delighted that uh, all of you are here. And uh, I want to thank you very, very much for showing up. And I'm extremely proud and happy that we have this many people that show up in spite of the rain. In here, please, in the American Nukumba, our keynote speaker has already made some important references. And uh, as you all know, any language that doesn't grow tend to die. By the law of nature, anything that doesn't grow begins to die. When it comes to evil language, the vocabularies of evil language have not been increasing for over a period of time now. And the UNESCO study also indicated that the evil language is dying. We have enough evil